Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Prey, my name's Camel, and today's video is the sponsored one at the top 10 tips list for new players of Prey. Now Prey is a very interesting game with unique features that will guarantee you have fun, but to get the most out of your Prey experience I have compiled 10 easy tips to get you on your way in no time at all. Number 10, Explore. Prey is a beautiful three dimensional playground, go up, down, to the side, into every air vent and into every room. Prey comes from the same blood as the Dishonored games. If you explore, you will be rewarded for it, so be sure to do just that, explore. Number 9. Building off exploration, if you can see it, you can get to it. There may be some parts of Prey that look impossible to reach, perhaps they're too high, perhaps they're behind a locked door. But I can guarantee it, if you can see it, you can get to it. You can climb up onto anything, from there you can jump, and soon enough you'll be standing with the ceiling fans. This handcrafted micro sandboxing will let you carve your own path through Talos 1, all the while discovering hidden goodies just for you. Number 8. Pick up everything. If you come across anything you can pick up, be sure to do just that, pick it up. Although most things seem to be useless junk, they aren't. I swear, banana peels and crumpled up paper are useful. Throughout Telos 1, there are these recycling stations, which you can throw all of your useless junk into. Once turned on, it will deconstruct your rubbish and spit out useful base materials. With these, you can then craft useful items, such as ammunition. So again, go ahead, pick up that banana peel and turn it into a grenade. Number 7. Read everything. Computer entries, books, pieces of paper, all of it. Most readable content will give you more information on what's going on within the game, but some of the time you'll find out passwords to safes, to rooms, hidden locations of stashed items. There are also miscellaneous side quests that can be accessed only by reading certain material. For example, read an email about neuro mods that have gone missing and you'll get a quest to track them down. So remember, read everything. Number 6. Weapon Discipline Make sure you have your weapons reloaded and also the right weapons in rotation. It might sound silly, but oh my gosh, every single time I've died in Prey, it's because I had the wrong weapons toggled or my glue cannon wasn't reloaded. Every time I died, it was because I was not disciplined with my weapons. The last thing you want is to be facing the Typhon with a Huntress Bolt Caster. It shoots foam bullets. Don't use gun ammunition when you don't need to, as it's scarce. So be disciplined with your weapons, and you'll survive for much, much longer. Number 5. Knowing your enemy. Every different type of Typhon and enemy you encounter in the game will have stats and details about them. Most foes have resistances and weaknesses, and you will have a weapon corresponding to those weaknesses. So know your enemies and know what you can do with with the weapons that you have. Number 4. Utilize your environment. Know what's around you and how you can use it to your advantage, whether it be pulling enemies into a flame so they burn to death, or using turrets as an ally to take out waves of Typhon. There are plenty of varied environmental hazards that can be used as an ally, so be sure to use them. Number 3. Everything is a mimic. Not quite, but be sure to enter every room cautiously. As meme heavy as mimics are, they are no joke. One or two shouldn't be an issue, but sometimes three, four, five of them will jump at you at once, and you could be in real trouble. Not only mimics, but all enemies will have a few tricks up their sleeve to stop you in your tracks, quite often by killing you. So take a moment to prepare before entering your room, make sure your health is at full and that you've saved the game. Number two, spend neuro mods wisely. There are a ton of awesome perks for you to spend neuro mods on, but spend them wisely, as rank two, three, four of perks become very, very, very expensive very quickly. Be sure to think about what perks you'll need and again spend your neuro mods wisely as they are a rather rare yet vital commodity. Maybe save the game and then try them out before deciding for good. Number 1. The best tip I can give you is take your time. Don't rush the game, you will gain nothing from it. Talos 1 is a stunning piece of game design with secrets hidden everywhere and rewards around every corner, especially if that corner was hard to get around. The environmental design and level of detail that has gone into building Talos 1 within Prey is beautiful and heartening to know developers are still creating games like this. So take your time, enjoy the beautiful game that is Prey, poke around, push the boundaries of exploration, and carve your own path through space, and enjoy the lovely rewards you'll receive. Provided, of course, you pace yourself and explore. You can rush if you wish, but my biggest piece of advice is to stroll and take in the view.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my top 10 starter tips for Prey. And if you would like to check out Prey for yourself, you can do just that as the game released today. So enjoy your weekend playing Prey, and if not, you can check out more of it here on the channel. I do hope that this video helped you out, and if it did, be sure to check out the other Prey videos that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Down there is also links to my social medias, including Twitter and Patreon. Be sure to hit them up if you would like to support the channel. Or you can subscribe right here on YouTube. And with that, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.